so let's get started well if it comes to 3d experience mm, probably we have been using solidworks over the last 27 years and over the last few experiences while working on desktop 3d cad we have seen the different advances in the technology but when it comes to 3d experience solidworks we have seen the typical traditional SOLIDWORKS desktop CAD organically collected to the 2D experience platform with the enhanced capabilities and I would say enhanced performances. What do we have here? Let's talk in and let's discuss about basics and beyond the basics for all types of audience that we have today in our meeting. So let's get started. Very good evening, everyone. My name is Nikhil Nagre, currently working as an industry process consultant for the 3D experience work portfolio in DESO systems. Well, we begin with our today's agenda, straightforward and simple. We talk about an introduction about this product, how it is different from your typical SOLIDWORKS, which you have been using since years now. We'll give you a quick introductory video or a demo about how 3D experience SOLIDWORKS is coming into picture and enabling, and enabling all the users to go beyond just CAD and go um, above and beyond CAD and do a lot of things which will allow them to uh, have a hassle-free product development and product data management ways. We'll see the benefits of 3D experience SOLIDWORKS and at the last we will also have few glances over the uh, summary. Let's start with a platform versus product intro. So when you have been using various products in your life, I will, I will let's take an example of uh, Android mobile. You have a Play Store which has different sort of apps in it, whether it be your WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, etc. This type of apps which are present are embedded inside your Play Store to make sure that they run in your Android device. But when I call a difference between a product versus platform, these individual apps which you have are nothing but a product. But a Play Store is a platform. Similarly, in case of iOS, you have the App Store, which acts as a role of a platform. So let's see what products we are having in our day-to-day -day life, which we are using in the design industry today. If we talk about concept design and sketching, we have Google SketchUp in the play, which is doing the task. If you talk about the data management, we have MS Excel, Google Drive, maybe emails that you can share. If you talk about, if you talk about a detailed design, if you think, 3D CAD, you have SOLIDWORKS, you have 2D CAD, and when it comes to product testing and feedbacks, you have physical test labs like uh, emails, you may hide WhatsApp, etc. And finally, you know, when marketing comes into play, photorealistic renderings of the uh, products which you are designing in your product development phase it feels very important to do because it enables you to reach, foster the markets well before. And visualization and final output, we have SOLIDWORKS Visualize or any of the uh, visualizing or maybe 3D rendering software in the market. But if you think about all this product jumbled up or uh, being present here and there, we see disconnected products are present and that leads to an inefficient workflow. So how do we make sure that all these products lines into place and you have a hassle-free product development? With that, introducing you the 3D experience SOLIDWORKS, which brings a collaborative work environment with the traditional 3D experience, with the SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD, which will allow you to create, to design, model, draft, plan, program, inform, validate, and optimize your data to have a hassle-free product development. So no matter the domain or area of your work, no matter whichever type of industry you belong to. The 3D experience works portfolio combines the ease of use of SOLIDWORKS with the best of the breed applications connected to the 3D experience platform. And when I say they work collaboratively, you will have a seamless integration to help you innovate and accelerate every aspect of your product development process. The portfolio enables you to securely share your data and collaborate from anytime, anywhere, and on the go, allowing you to extend your product development capabilities and solve new problems faster and easily. So what do we conclude? The connected products in a single platform results into a collaborative work environment. So with that said, let's have a quick view on uh, 
tour of how 3D experience platform connected with our SolidWorks ensures with our different brands like Innovia. And it, it brings out a different hassle-free product development. So let's have a look. So getting a handle on your product development data and process can feel very overwhelming. But with the 3D experience platform, you can provide alignment to your process and structure to your data. Let's take an example of three gentlemen here. Number one, let's follow Eric as he uses the 3D experience platform to securely organize and manage his latest project, the Biodep Motoni, which we will look at how all the product development documents can be easily stored on the platform. We'll see how Eric can collaborate with other members on his team without the need for any emails and disconnected communication tools. We'll also see how he uses the platform and how the platform assists with many of the tedious tasks associated with while getting a design released. Finally, we'll see how Eric can use the full traceability when implementing a design change. So what does Eric does? Eric's logged into the 3D experience platform and logging into the platform, Eric begins while doing the task in the top left section. He needs to finish a task before the end of the day. And tasks are a simple way to keep the whole product development team on the same page to keep the project on schedule. So we have a person, Petty, who needs to we needs him to finalize the knee model so that Sam, who is present in manufacturing, can review them. And Megan needs Eric to add and update the product specification document to the project. After viewing, Eric simply drags and drops the task into in work column so that Megan's know. He is working on Eric's data, and the whole team on the same is on the same page. What he does is using an organizational tool called Bookmark Editor, and bookmark he can simply bookmark this into collections, which will provide a familiar structure for organizing and navigating all the product documents and provide quick insights into design. You can see 3D models can be previewed just by drag and drop, and um, in the 3D play you can maybe hover them see them carefully in the Innovia file properties if you click on the i button you'll be able to see detailed property information that can be accessed as well or everything on the browser supporting office documents like the product specifications can be easily dragged and dropped into the collection programs like let's case in this case it was microsoft word so you have all integrations in the 3d experience platform which will help you in a sustainable development now eric is allowing him to browse the product specification document and if he opens it from the cloud. So what does Eric do? He probably thinks of updating the title of the document. So he updates the title and also adjusts the date and then saves it back to the platform, providing a very short description of what he is updating. Let's take an example and he clicks on save. The full version and a revision history of the document can be accessed so that the team can quickly pull up an older version if needed. Now, with Megan's task is completed, when it's completed, Eric moves on to the finishing of the knee models in pre experience third works. So he opens the task plane, which provides valuable insights into whether the design has been saved into the platform or not. And it can also give the information about the document reservation status as well. So revision, you talk about uh, revision, it also gives Eric to an identity, identity whether a document has been released or not, or whether it's a, or whether it's a part number or anything else. Just like the office integration, he has full access to the bookmark structure, ensuring he saves his design in the correct collaborative space and the correct project. We'll add a quick comment and then save the design to the cloud. So he's choosing a perfect collaborative destination space of his choice, and now he click quickly add the revision comment, hit on the save and done. After the seven step process, it is saved on the cloud. You have to remember that only the files that have changed here are pushed back to the platform, ensuring the process is as efficient as possible. And now that the design is saved, Eric can access his task directly from the task pane and across the other thing which is keeps him off his busy day. So with the 3D experience platform, Eric has peace of mind with secure cloud-based file storage for all his team's project. Eric wants to get Sam's opinion on the design for a manufacturing sticking point. So this traditionally would have been an email to Sam and a lot of back and forth. But now with 3D experience platform, let's see how Eric and Sam approach this now. Eric starts by accessing the properties of the model directly and navigating the comment section. Comments allow him an easy way to tag Sam and to share information directly connected to the model. 
no emails no attachments let's catch up with sam and see what his thoughts are on this sam gets notified that he has a new mention from eric some new task probably so what he does he clicks on it and to see what eric had to say now additionally when he click on the notification he has an easy access to previewing the 3d model as well we go to view and he will be able to see the 3d model sam's not a solidworks user but he needs to better understand the product structure to the design so he closes the notification and does nothing but a quick search once found he drag he will body do it it will drag and drop into product structure explorer an easy way to explore files this tool not only allows him to see the product structure but also key information like part numbers maturity state and ownership in addition he can drill down into individual items and see related documents like this first article inspection document as helpful as it is to see the structures sam job require him to look few things a little differently so with 6w tag sam can choose a group the structure based on criteria such as whether the parts will be made or brought typical things in manufacturing now he can expand the make group to see the manufacturer component so here he goes expands the make group and he can quickly identify that eric has forgot to indicate the status for the full whole pyramid in the spirit of collaboration sam opens the property dialog box edits the properties and indicates that this part is uh, definitely something they can manufacture in house with a quick refresh once done the model gets updated here you go as sam begins to look further into the design he has an idea what is an idea he could think it would be more robust so what he can think is he can reduce the number of parts and that can be easier to assemble using the built in communication tool he reaches out to eric via chat to see if he's available to discuss his ideas he can ping him right in the 3d experience platform it's easy for eric and sam to collaborate on their ideas and it begins to share a 3d markup on his screen he can also have a video call start a video call it's simple with sharing screen audio and video built into the 3d experience platform so as i said it's easy for eric and sam to collaborate on their ideas where eric can begin to share a 3d markup on his screen well 3d markup is a powerful way for him to document sam's ideas and he begins to sketch out supports that can be integrated into the bottom bracket a typical product development workflow and this will help better support the shop he indicates two holes that will need to be added and changes the styles to better reflect the design intent finally what he does is he adds a note indicating the need to remove the current pin and use a shoulder screw instead Now Eric updates the slide to capture the model orientation and the notes. Now let's say Eric is planning to work from home this afternoon. So he creates a task for himself to remember to make sure that these changes are done. Once the task is created, he can simply drag and drop the assembly into the uh, markup into the task so he can easily access them this afternoon. This is the power of 3D Experience platform that provides Eric. a powerful set of integrated communication and design review tools that makes the team more efficient erics had a busy yet productive morning but now what to do now he has worked from his home but this afternoon without missing a beat he picks up where he has left and starts with making the design changes and getting his team released he starts by accessing the task directly from solidworks interface where he can select to preview the markup from the conversation with sam He has full access to the slides that were created and the details they contain. The form Eric makes any changes he wants to make sure that he hasn't used this bracket part in any other design. This is easy to do by simply selecting the part and choosing to review its relation. How you can do it? He can simply select the part. He can go to the relations dialog box present there. and you can able to see all the relations inside the Hello. experience task pane on itself ha to show to you can go to the add hello. option hello yeah hello is there someone ha aryavaj hello akshat can you please mute yeah sir sir yeah 
Okay, so what he does, did is he simply go, went and clicked on the add option where he will be able to see all the relations which are associated to the product structure. And choosing to review its relation, he does what he does is into uh, digs into the relationship. He sees that this bracket is also used in the non-sport version of the knee design. It's best if he creates a new bracket instead of revising the old one. Although the although the drawing and assembly are still in working state, so Eric wants to capture the design changes. He's about to make a secondary revision. So there are primary and secondary revisions. So we'll simply right-click on the drawing and he can choose to create a new revision and add a comment and then revise. He's visually alerted that a new revision now exists. Once he go and clicks on adding a revision. Now, since he knows that, what he can do is, he can choose to preload it or maybe try to replace it with a new revision. These are the capabilities of the powerful revision management tools. So again, he jumps back to the assembly. Eric can choose to load past visions or new ones at any time, any time which he thinks of loading it. Then he uses the powerful search capabilities to find an M6 shoulder screw that he can use in his design and found, and once found, he can drag and drop into the assembly and then makes it into place with the design changes made, which are made by Eric's, which are finalized and ready to use. So finalize the part numbers and realize this design, he switches back to the drawing, sorts the design by enterprise item number, which we call it as the EN number, and then selects the items that needs number assigned. This makes it easy for Eric to ensure that all items have part numbers assigned before they are released. Not only that, the form is updated, but with new parts as well. Now Eric saves his changes back to the platform with a final comment. So what he can do is, once the identified changes are um, satisfactory, he can go add a revision comment of his choice, have a click mark and hit on save. Eric saves his changes back to the platform with this comment. Eric knocks another task off from his list, which is already having a productive day. And this is how the storyline was created. The platform took care of automatically creating a PDF drawing of the drawing for Eric as well, allowing him to move on to the next design phase. Managing the product data on the 3D experience platform makes handling the details of the design and release process effortlessly. The successful launch of the Motor Me brought growth to the BioDap team and the need for additional structure to that design change management including the need for approval routes, issue tracking, and formal change action. To handle this, Eric creates a standard route. Now, this is a very different topic, the route management. So for the team members that need to review and sign off on design changes, route tasks can be both parallel or linear. And parallel tasks can require either all or any of the assignees to provide their approval. Additionally, the team now utilizes issues when they identify a possible improvement issues. Now this way creates an easy way for anyone like Ben who is present in uh, product management to bring an idea to Eric's attention. So Eric begins reviewing Ben's high priority idea to reduce the overall weight in order to increase the performance. Ben has identified the part and assembly he is referring to, which makes it easy for Eric to review the request and visualize and visually see that what Ben is referring to. Eric's comment that uh, they can make the changes so he updates the issue to an in-work status and then starts a formal change action directly from the issue. All the information from the issue is copied over making Eric's life easier. He simply sets the priority and a due date and then saves the change action with everything nicely correlated together. Eric begins the work of building out the rest of the change action as the owner of the design is Eric. Now he's been identified as the assignee and because Ben initiated the issue, he will stay informed to the complete progress. For the approval, Eric can simply add the approval route template which he has already created to the change action. You can go to add, add assignees, approval and hit on add.
so with any change it's important to do a full change assessment you can go to proposed changes which are another step in order to view the complete changes so you can go and click assessment now the changes when you click on the change assessment with the 3d experience platform this is just a mouse click away eric is able to easily see the drawings and assemblies that are now impacted by the design change once selected they can be dragged and dropped into the change action now eric just needs to move the change action to an invoke status and when he does the change action takes care of automatically creating all of the needed revisions the change action now provides the needed permission for any changes to the designs now he goes to the realize changes tab and look what you see it's connected with in order to make the design changes eric simply needs to work under the change action inside of solidworks with material now removed from linkage eric will set the design status to frozen to indicate that it needs to be reviewed by the team so eric updates the change action directly from solidworks itself he selects changes the maturity from private to frozen hit on okay now it's frozen is ready to initiate the change of reviews and approvals by moving the change action from invoke to approval as each stage of the approval route is approved the change action is updated and now all that's left is for eric to provide the final approval he double click the task add his comment so once it is set to approval he has this list of tasks which are now from first stage to the approval stage probably he can do a relogin once he double clicks the task adds his approval comments and then presented with the e signature providing him the ability to attach to his approval the typical manufacturing industry the way they follow by entering his username and password of course when it's digital to the experience platform the approval of the change action automatically changes the life cycle status of the affected items to release in addition the properties of the items now indicate the change action as the reason for the release and capture all the sign offs providing full traceability in the complete product development workflow now to close the loop with ben his original issue has been automatically translated from work to in approval and after review he can probably choose to close out as well the 3d experience platform here as you can see provides full ma change management traceability from request to completion for the whole team from document management and collaboration to design release and change management etc so once he clicks on completed here you have the complete change management executed so the 3d experience provide platform provides you with and your team with the tools that you need to provide um alignment to your process and structure your data so this was a quick demo and uh, uh, a message for everyone how the workflow is happening inside the platform so let's understand the benefits of 3d experience solid works with this simple and pretty much explanatory graphical side and graphical pictures to view so the next few minutes we'll cover how this technology enhances the solid works experience provides new ways to leverage your design data and allows more flexibility with lower cost option than the typical traditional cad licenses so if you see the core of 3d experience solid works is 3d cad solid works has maintained its standing as the leader in the mainstream cad due to its robustness robust ability to model complex parts assemblies and detailed drawings 3d experience solid works builds off its history and creates new opportunities for design and engineering So if you see how is 3D experience SolidWorks different? Let's start how it's similar. By the way, if you think about what's similar, it includes the same industry-leading 3D CAD SolidWorks. It is still installed locally on your PC. Each user can easily install the software by logging in and clicking on the SolidWorks icon. Simple as that. I'm just jotting down the basics. Once installed, the SolidWorks software will automatically be kept up to date as new releases and new functionality are being added and being available. Users will create parts, assemblies, drawing files with SolidWorks on their local PC. 
traditionally these files have been saved on a local server but now what if the file server was on cloud and especially designed to help solidworks users this is the change that creates new possibilities for productivity collaboration and innovation if you are saving your data to a server on the qd experience platform you can take full advantage of the cloud let's take a look at some of these benefits in short while now speaking about the security this is a growing issue for many of small smes or msmes uh, companies that do not have dedicated security security specialty in, uh, especially in the it departments security is a big challenge beyond just the users computers companies have to secure their file servers etc traditionally the responsibility of securing this data has fallen on you so let's say if you have the responsibility not on, not only to do the need to secure the data but also need to enable secure ways to share it so in order to succeed in today's competitive environment it is critical to be able to leverage the resources which are outside of the walls of your organization and that is easier said than done we have all heard personal stories of small or even large companies suffering from cyber attacks with the 3d experience solidworks teso systems take your responsibility of securing your data and we have large team dedicated to just your security and staying ahead of the latest trends securing your data is extremely important but so is managing it one of the challenging in today's fast place and environment design environment is managing part assembly and drawings it is important uh, to know that if you have already imported a a a typical third a geometry into your model and you are you know profound to have design revisions and design iterations which are inevitable in your product development phase it is to import for everyone uh, on the team to know that uh, important to for everyone in the team to know that they need to be on the latest revision without a data management tool designers usually resort to adding additional suffixes to file names or creating archive folders this can be very cumbersome and assembly and drawing references can be broken so what do we do could you explain so it works solves this challenge by including simple revision management right out of the box no database servers needed no administrator setup just simple easy to use cloud based cloud based revision management tool when you open a file you can lock it to let everyone know you are working on it that way two people don't end up editing the same file when you save it automatically gives you a file of an initial revision in this case it is a.1 when you modify the part and save it again you have the option to create a new revision and add a revision comment it is super easy and it is available right in the same dialog box saving the part updates the revision to a.2 you can see from the screenshot that the file is set to in work state that means you can continue to modify the file and save as per your need when all of your changes are complete just click release and this lets everyone on the team know that the new revision is the latest one while all of this functionality comes out of the box no additional cost no additional hardware or setup required if you remove revision management if you think you don't need revision management today you will be able to feel the uh, uh, data sharing thing is not that easy so easily sharing data can be challenging if you are saving into local file server this traditionally and one at this typical traditional environment makes it difficult to involve others in the product development process let's say a designer needs to collaborate with an external manufacturer another offsite office or a remote employee what tools do they have with them probably they have email dropbox some of the other kind of cloud based file storage tools but these tools only partially solve the problem and they create several new ones one such problem is creating multiple copies of the file once you create additional copies you need to ensure that everyone is working on the latest revision and then when you get feedbacks or edits from the team you have to pull all that information back together and modify or replace the original file so here comes to the experience or work which lets replace all the file sharing tools with one unified cloud storage location with the experience platform as you are working you save to one central location rather than sending zip files through email or uploading copies to dropbox you don't have all of these copies to keep in track on you don't need to worry you don't lose control over your intellectual property because you can revoke access at any time 
and you know the receipts are the weaving the latest revisions because they are weaving live data and not a static copy of the data there are several ways to share data with query experience solidworks and we can probably have a look in our future seminars another benefit of query experience platform is the ability to be able to access your data anytime anywhere on any device maybe you're on set with a customer or maybe your colleague and you want to pull up a design and have a review with them no problem grab your phone or tablet and view mark up the model maybe your manager or your senior design lead is traveling and you want to approve a design change just mention them in the comments on the model and they will get a notification on the phone while they open and view the model and they can change and they can actually approve the models comments there and you can have it keeping the project on track these are some of the immediate benefits provided from our latest solidworks offers and you will start feeling the impact of this right away with 3d experience solidworks as your company grows your 3d experience platform grows with you and it opens the doors to suit a scalable and innovative tools we have got generative design tools that can optimize part based on objectives and loading conditions we have powerful cnc machining tools multi axis cnc machining tools advanced dynamic simulation simulation capabilities etc we even include a couple of this next generation tools as part of query experience solidworks everything falling under the gambit of query experience works portfolio this query experience solidworks standard includes query creator a browser based parametric modeling tool for designing your parametric models on the go professional at sculptor for browsing based on sub d modeling which gives designers the freedom to push and pull on geometry to create aesthetically appealing products in summary query experience solidworks is just a new way to buy and use solidworks it is leading industry query cad leveraging the cloud to address today's challenges with a scalable portfolio that will grow with your company and help you overcome the challenges of the future now to go back and talk about the benefits you are having the ability to store all your data product data in a centralized secure location access it anywhere any from any time from any of the device manage the life cycle of the cad data simulation models documentations across multiple cad applications you can track issues change changes and route and reduce conflicting edits from multiple contributors with proper revision control now 3d experience solidworks also offers some big advantages over traditional desktop when it comes to deployment which can dramatically reduce your id overhead and complexity solidworks desktop is installed directly from 3d experience by simply clicking the app solidworks service packs and updates to 3d experience platform are going to be by themselves and they are going to automatically be deployed on a quarterly basis so that you are always on the latest version with the 3d experience platform being cloud based you don't need any costly servers in house and infrastructure all you, you all of your files are secured at deso systems data centers and importantly backed up at all times so to summarize all it down to jot the points or down we have bundle of products inside the works portfolio 3d experience solidworks being one of them it is mobile you can access it and review it anytime everywhere anywhere remote collaboration is possible browser based on parametric or sub d modeling the choice is yours you can use this easy to use cloud based design data management tool right at the go thank you everyone for being here and still if you have any doubt any queries feel free to reach out to me over linkedin or nikhil.nikhil@thereddfidios.com i am right here to help you besides